Because every time this happens, it breaks my entrenchment. And it's France that's kind of important. Stay up to there. And yeah, weirdly enough, Maginot unit, you're in charge of the Maginot area. Please stay there. Thank you. looking at the Navy stuff. I always like to see those results, but way more important that I keep an eye on this, especially now that they are actually on the outskirts of Paris and there's a gap right there. I assume that means I'm out of guns. Yep. I mean, we are still doing a lot of damage to the Germans. Like, they've got to be losing a lot of equipment. Yeah, they are losing more than we are. Can anti-tank pierce the Panzer III's? They should be able to. The problem is, I was expecting my heavies to pierce the... Um, what was I saying? I was expecting the heavy tanks to be able to pierce the German armor, but they haven't been able to. So I'm hoping that the extra piercing power of the AT can, because the problem is the heavy tanks pierce is 35, when the upgrade is 111. Like, that is an enormous jump. And then the light tanks that we're trying to penetrate have an armor of 63. So these guys just can't, and I wish I'd seen that stat earlier, but I unfortunately hadn't. So once we get to the AARL 44s, we'll be fine and we can focus on just having the heavy tanks, but in the meantime, we're gonna need AT to help. In fact, that's a good question. Can you even do it? Yeah, you have a Pierce 75. You should be fine. Research tank destroyer. I don't want to do that because the whole point of my going with heavy tanks is because they give 50% of their armor to the entire division. Just having one unit gives 50% of their armor, which is a lot, because they're heavy tanks, to the entire unit, which should make them a lot more resistant to damage, and I suspect it is. I mean, part of the other problem is I just don't have a, enough of them. Like, the purples have a fair few. It's basically the guys with the wings, so they're heavy tanks. The ones without aren't. Um, so the difference between the heavy tank destroyer and the regular heavy tank of that level is the regular heavy tank has an armor of seven... No, actually, it's the same. Okay, that's interesting. Much lower soft attack, but that's not their intention. Don't care about that. I'm pretty sure that's not true for the other models. Apparently it is. In fact, the light tank destroyers have even heavier armor. I'm sure that never used to be the case. Maybe it's the SPGs? Oh, SPGs have less armor. Tank destroyers, however, do have high. Then yeah, that would have been the way to fix it. It's 50, it's definitely 50. Continue d'avancer. Oh, it is 30% of the highest. Maybe they decreased that. I'm sure it used to be 50. Yeah, this strategy doesn't seem to have worked as well as I would have hoped. I should have just been building medium tanks, frankly. They would have achieved the same. Medium tank armor 63 to their 73. It's only a difference of 10. 
and they're half the cost. But like I said, the ARL is really strong. Like these guys pack a real punch. And they're only slightly more expensive than the B1s. And that's absolutely worth the cost. I'd love to add more aircraft. The problem is industry. I just don't have the industry. Because we're trying to invest as heavily as we can in the AT at the moment so I can give as many of my units anti-tank capabilities. But it's a process and I only have so much artillery. We have 30 military factories and we're fighting against... 150. This seems to have been cut off. Uh, yeah, it has been cut off. And there's loads of stuff above that. Let me just reload this. America's still doing the Civil War, yeah. America won't help. I've set them to fascist. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, there were like four things above it. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Let's have that one finished first. the river already. Damn it! Try. If we can push them back, that would be amazing. Because they are investing quite heavily and quite deeply. They don't have that many troops up here. If I can push them back to like the Calais line, that would be really nice. Of course, you actually have to win the attacks. <laughs> so much back and forth here. <laughs> Okay, De Gaulle has arrived, so I can use the purples to push back now as well. Fortunately, their lines are just so screwed up, because they keep on moving to completely random locations. Attention. I think a bunch of you just got overrun here. Yeah, you used to be a 24 strength army. This is not working. Attention. What's the start date? 36. Have I taken Africa yet? No. Guys, Bye. come on. Take freaking Africa, please. Ah, they're well and truly in here now. We failed once more.
In a way, I'm glad that they rebalanced the heavy tanks because that strategy used to be so ridiculously overpowered. I'm pretty sure that's how I did it in Vive la France, the series three years ago. But obviously that doesn't work anymore. We need Stalin to get involved. Yeah, Stalin getting involved would be nice. Germany's still doing the second Vienna award. Where is Barbarossa? There. I mean, it's okay. I mean, they're, they're working on the alliance with Italy right now. I love how the Italians are just not even trying to cross the Alps. Obviously, I do have too many troops here. Aye. Let's assign all of you to purples. And we are currently fighting for Paris. But I have my doubts that we'll be able to hold it. Although, that being said, I could do Desperate Defense. In fact, can we do the actual Desperate Defense yet? No, we can't. Dutch Expeditionary Forces, yes please. Never fear, the Dutch are here. Yeah, the Americans are having problems of their own. And Maginot's been cut off. Though they managed to hold out a surprising amount of time, but they've well and truly broken through here now. No, it's not working. Okay, let's try that again, because I'm stubborn. Next time, try with more little divisions with anti-tank and light tanks. Yeah, I miss my heavy tank strategy. It used to work so well. Still works in Kaiserreich, just not here. Okie dokie. It wasn't empty, Famous Gaming. It had my Mountaineers down there still. I just had too many troops down there. Okay, so. Um, starting out with the focuses. I want to get Strength and Government done quickly. Same as last time. But I'm going to still start out with Metropolitan France so I can get the infrastructure. I'm going to build infrastructure as well. Rhone gets one. Let's start with infrastructure down here. And we're going to build our industry in the south. I think this time I also need to start building military factories much sooner than I did previously. Work on those. What decisions are available? There aren't five decisions available, there are zero. Alright, army. Aye. Let's do the thing which I should have done last time. Aye. All of you, bye bye. And then, I'm half tempted to get rid of the motorized and the light tanks. Yeah, obviously start with industry first.
There might be a way of selecting all of one type of unit in here, but apparently there isn't. Irritating. So we can do this. That. And then you, 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 and you. Regular armies. And then any of you which are already fully trained, we're going to pull out this army and put you in a separate section. Like so. You start drilling. You start drilling. Navies. Let's move you all into Brittany. And then air base, air forces even. With the exception of the carriers. We'll head over here. Good. Now watch as my oil just disappears. <laughs> yep, like I said, my oil just disappears. Does not like sticking around. How are SI verifying heavy tanks to not penetrate the German Panzer? Just comparing the German tank value versus piercing value? No, when you're actually fighting the battle and you get the pop-up, you can see a little shield icon. And when my heavy tank divisions were fighting against the German Panzer divisions, that little shield was gold, which means nothing is penetrating it. While my own unit had the shield as well, but it was a shattered silver, which means it is being pierced. And I basically waited until it was just one of their divisions versus one of mine, and then did a comparison. And yes, I was being penetrated, and they weren't. So I do need to think a little bit about how I want my divisions to be done. Do I want to... Go for medium tanks? Do I want to go for anti-tank early on and then start phasing in heavy tanks later. I mean that would be better because then I don't need to rush the um, tank designer anymore. Yeah, I think I need to just go with anti-tank. Get some better fighters, get some better close air support and try with that. When will this be on YouTube? I don't know. I just realized I haven't actually been recording this, so I'll need to pull it down from Twitch. But at the moment, I have a huge Heart of Iron backlog, so it's probably going to be like two years. What about light tank destroyers? <sighs> yeah. Let's take a look at the costs. So if we have 80, they cost 4 each. They're actually really cheap. And if we went for light tank destroyer, in fact we actually have relatively modern armor. They do have a 15 armor. Which regular infantry definitely won't be able to penetrate. The panzers will. They have a production cost of 9, so... Actually, that could work. I'm just shocked that their armor is now the same as the regular tanks. I am certain that did not used to be the case. Because that's why I very rarely actually used the um, those divisions. Compared to regular tanks. Is that always the case? Because I am sure it never used to be. No. See here. So is it just the self-propelled guns that are different? Yes, it is. So what are you losing? Ah, so regular tanks are the breakthrough, which tank destroyers don't. We are not attacking, so that's irrelevant. Soft attack we're going to be doing with artillery. So that's irrelevant. Speed's the same. Piercing is a lot better on the tank destroyers, and they still have the armor. So yeah, I think light tank destroyers might well be the way to go. 
And then we could even create a couple of tank hunter units to chase down the enemy panzers. Or we could even just do that, just have a couple of tank hunters. So what do we think? Specific tank hunter divisions which are light tank destroyers or put 80 in every single unit? 80 in every single unit would be a lot less micromanagement. They're medium tanks though, hang on. How much do penetration do you have? 25, it's not enough. Medium tanks actually have a ton of armor. Way more than I realized. 60. 60 armor. We would need AA2s to hit that. And that's only if the Germans don't have a design company which increases their armor, which they probably do. Mistake France historically did was putting a small number of tanks in every infantry brigade and we know how that turned out. Well that's where the idea behind the heavy tank thing worked and like I said before it used to work. But I think now that you only get 30% of the armor rather than 50% it's made a huge difference. And really reduced the strength of that technique. Because the Brits did it as well. The Churchill is an infantry fighting tank. Clues in the name. It fights with the infantry. Then they also had the uh, cruiser tanks which were the Valentines, and their job was like the Panzers. It's rapid reaction, fast moving mobile armor. And I really liked that Heart of Iron represented the concept of the infantry fighting tank because not many other strategy games do. But I think we do need to wait until the ARL 44s before we can do infantry fighting tanks because clearly this guy is just not up to it. How expensive are you in comparison? 25 to 8. Oof. I mean, this does give us a lot more hardness. They would require heavy attacks to get through. So we, this does give us a little bit of resistance to artillery. Which the light tanks wouldn't do, but I... Uh, the Germans do have a fair amount of artillery still. Resources aren't a problem. We're the French. We, we, we have a lot of resources. Yeah, I know I have to fortify, so part of what I'm doing here, Famous Gaming, is what I call without benefit of hindsight, where basically I don't know that the Germans are going to bypass. I suspect, because that's what they did in World War One, but I don't know for certain. So I am purposefully doing some defences on the Belgian border, but not as much as, say, Maginot, because it would be very, very easy to just completely destroy the challenge of the game, just building a level 10 fort in every single province. That's boring. I kind of like a little bit of historicalness here. But like division templates and how the army is comprised, I think that's one of the variables that we can play with. Yeah, you guys have 10 organization. That's why you sucked so hard. Attention. I think I'm going to get rid of my tank divisions. I did not rate them very highly. I'd rather use those tanks in something else. And frankly, the cavalry too. That icon, and you are going to use subscriber names, 
And this is also going to use subscriber names. And it's going to be without the wings. Actually, there's no real point having that yet. Because I haven't added anything to it. So we'll just recruit those. Now we have a thousand light tanks. So we could probably create a couple of the... Oh no, we have no army experience to actually add the light tanks to the infantry. Ah, crap. No, I forgot to switch the uh, US. I totally forgot to do that this time. Because part of the idea as well is if France stands, then we can basically take on the role of the USA. We don't need to be bailed out. We'll be the ones bailing out. Hopefully. Custom game rules. United States goes fascist. Which either means I'll join the war or they'll stay neutral. Either of them's fine. I think everything else I just left as is. I'm going to change one thing though. I'm going to buff China because not that much. Because I am fed up of Japan just walking all over China. It happens every single game. So fascist US, slightly stronger China. China, China, China. Now that's correct. And we have to do this again. Well, actually, no, I don't want to delete you. I want to delete... You. Attention. Écoutez. Parry. Did I leave the motorized last time? Attention. Mountaineers, we definitely did. No, our motorized divisions are actually okay. I'm going to leave them as is. And we were going to build industry down here. And we're going to start metropolitan. The research is the standard. And ships. And airplanes. Actually, we could have used the cavalry in North Africa. No matter. And put you in a new theatre and split you roughly in half. The eight can be in Vietnam. And then the nine can be North Africa. I'll do. 